Yo, ho. <laughs> what did you call me? Who said that? Captain. Captain Isabella, sir. Over here. That statue is talking to me. <laughs> that statue is talking to me. It's me, Paisley Pete, crew of the Wicked Dancer. Helped you board that Navarran brig. I remember your help. I also remember that your Captain Maldeen tried to claim all the booty. Aye, and then Maldeen put a curse on us, the scurvy bastard. Only another sea captain can lift it. How could a sea captain turn you to stone? The captain's a Maleficar. He always said he was calling down curses on those who wronged him. But we didn't believe it. He was a lying, cheating, scurvy bastard. Can't blame us for crossing him. I don't know Isabella will be much help. She doesn't even have a pirate crew. Thanks for bringing that up. Pirate captains are more than a ship and the dirty cutthroats will sail with them. A real sea captain is a force of nature. Like the sea herself. Like wind and tides. You hear that, Hawk? I'm a force of nature. So is plague. What triggered the curse? And how does a sea captain figure in? We sort of broke something that wasn't ours so we could divvy it up. And now it needs to be put right. Only a sea captain can do it, though. Anyone else who tries will end up like us. And how did three stone pirates end up this far inland, inside a duke's estate? We... borrowed some cargo from Muldeen. Thought Prosper could buy the treasure off us. But the curse caught us. The duke left us here as a warning to others. Or... because it's funny. I guess we can't leave them like this. Ah, <sighs> you never are any fun, Hawk. I'm not sure I like the idea of helping a bunch of strange-talking statues. Strange-talking pirate statues? From the crew that tried to cheat me out of a fortune in Navarre and Gemstones. Oh, now ain't nobody gonna see the Dagger of the Four Winds again. You're the one they need. The decision is yours. They're lying, thieving rat bastards. Pirates. What do you expect? Let's hear them out. We captured a sloop out of Antiva City, the Majestic. Mostly, she was carrying silks to Orlais. But in a strong box, hidden in the silks, was the Dagger of the Four Winds. The Dagger of the Four Winds? It's just a legend. Make us truth, Captain. It's as real as life. Pirate treasure always has such dramatic names. Dagger of the Four Winds. Rum of scurvy Sam. Really? The drama makes it more fun to steal. Everyone knows that. Captain Maldeen didn't want nobody taking the dagger and jumping ship, so he put a spell on it. He said any blighter who took it from a rightful captain would turn to stone. But who believes in curses? We pried the jewels off the hilt to sell them to the Duke. Then the curse caught up with us. Put the dagger back the way it was. And you can set us free. No promises. Come on, Hawk. Let's look for this mythical dagger. I've put the dagger back together. Now what? Well, y y you have to... Uh... Give it away. You have to give it away and not get it back. That's the term of the curse. Let them what steal from rightful captains suffer for their greed. Only by captain's generosity can scabby bastards be freed. I could be generous without giving up the dagger. There's a lot of kinds of generosity, you know. Look at them, Isabella. If you were in their shoes, you'd want the curse lifted. I wouldn't be in their shoes. I don't steal anything with a curse on it. That's just good sense. Are you sure about this? You're just gonna leave them here forever? They got themselves into this mess. Serves them right for jumping ship. Come on, Hawk. I want to admire my pretty new knife in daylight. Wait, Captain! Shut up, Pete. You couldn't beg a copper from a nun. <sighs> no. Maker, you are such a bad influence on me. I can't leave them like this. Look at them, Isabella. If you were in their shoes, you'd want the curse lifted. I wouldn't be in their shoes. I don't steal anything with a curse on it. That's just good sense. It's not important. You can get another knife in Kirkwall. A nicer one. <sighs> it won't be the same. Fine. I never want to see it again. You hear that, Maldine? Now turn them back.
We're your men for life, Captain. We swear. Even Jan. Shut up, Raleigh. Great. I lost a priceless dagger and gained three disloyal, thieving sea dogs. Not a total waste, then. What the...? Something interesting amid the Duke's cast-offs. This record. The sketch is rough, but it's my family crest. Not Valen. Dulac, my father's house. Says it was a prisoner's tattoo. He was caught with wounds already suffered. Trying to stow away on a caravan. No one recognized the mark or the man. And he died of gangrene in his cell. He carried a hidden purse, but it was empty. Did we just miss a friend of the family? By over a decade. This is old, but it's still years after Father and I went to Ferelden. Who would bear our crest after Father's exile? Why? That's all it says. I want another look at those cells. Maybe there's... I don't know. Something. Get to the part where I should care. Stow it. This is for me. And it's important because this date... It was years after Father and I went to Ferelden. No one carried his crest after he was exiled. Your father was exiled, wasn't he? Is this related? Oh, that's the thing. It, it can't be. This report, it's old. But the date is still years after Father and I went to Ferelden. There. A mark. What? That scribble? On the stone crested with feces? As though intended to ward off any sane human? Couple of princesses. That's why it's still here. That, and no one was looking. For it. Don't keep us in suspense. It's a bottle of smoke. A small, black vial. <gasps> oh, crackers. There's something inside. Maybe you should be careful with that. A paper. And a ring. With the crest. Don't! What in the bloody breath of the Maker was that? Black vial, a phylactery of sorts. Turn up in the strangest places. Someone just leaves those around. Demon hunters, apparently. Maybe someone else found out how they do whatever it is they do. Well, I hope we've all learned a valuable lesson about found glassware. Aveline. Father never had such a ring. And the paper. It's some spell poetry gibberish. But on the back, death protect this missive. All marks killed. The grand game continues. Beneath the lack, a she of the red. Don't look at me. I'm not from here. Anything on the poetic side of the note that you recognize? Some freeform drivel about binding, honestly. Does magic need this kind of weak verse? What other outlet are we allowed? You're not allowed this one. I know, right? Regardless, it's odd such a thing would carry a note between conspirators. Not exactly casual security. You've no idea who the other part is referring to? None. Does the hair run in your family? I wouldn't know. Does Nosy run in yours? It does sound like this was ordered by someone with your name. We were years in Ferelden by then, and we lived poor. He left that life behind. Why? Seems like an important detail. Orle has a game. He wouldn't play it. I never cared to ask further. That's not a very satisfying answer, Aveline. I know. I'm sorry. It's all I have. Doesn't sound like you want to hunt this ghost. <laughs> not particularly hard to read, am I? I'll make some inquiries when we're done. But I can't imagine Orlay will leap to the cause. I kind of hope... Well, never mind. First things first. It's a dead end. The people here barely know what's happening now. I can't argue with the last part. A tease like this. I'll follow up. But I doubt Orlay will jump to investigate a long dead prisoner. I'm at a loss. Is there anything we can do with this? I can make some formal requests. 
But this strangeness runs to Orlais, and it's years old. I'm sure they'll jump right on that. Thanks for chasing it as far as you have. It's appreciated. <laughs>